Hi there, Corio for um, Computer Systems and today I'll we'll talk about binary and hexadecimals and uh, in short a version hex. Uh, I will show you how we calculate binary and and how we calculate hex. Let me start with um, binary. So what is binary? Binary code is zero ones. Um, and those zero ones can represent value or depending on the format you can those can rep uh, represent also um characteristics and signs stuff like this so in nasty yeah, we use it in ASCII but I will not show you this um so this is the example code and how we calculate this so first zero or one uh, the value will be one let me start from uh, actually I will just do the table so uh, the highest value we will operate on it will be 128 and we go to 64 then 32 then 16 and 8 4 2 and 1 so we have 8 bit system here that's 8 bit system and when we assign when we assign 1 or 0 to any of those we can create a value out of it and what does it mean to assign 0 or 1? 0 is actually empty so it's um, 0 is closed like or something like this so it's not open it will open the gates and close with 0 and 1 and 1 is open so it's like true and 0 is false so let's say I have one here, and uh, zero here, one here, one here, and zero all the way down. So what this number will represent in the binary? So we calculate it like this. So we have one, 188, 128, so we 128, we plus it with another value is zero, so we don't add it. Sorry, um, then we have value 32. There is one, so it's true, so we add it. Then again, I have 16 as a one, so I add it again. And all of those are zero, so they're not added. So this will equal to 128 plus 32 is 160, plus 16 is 176. So 176, this value, is the binary of 10110000. It will equal to 176, 176 in decimal. Uh, so for example, if I have other type of code like 010, zero, zero, <coughs> let's see, 1, 1, 1, <coughs> 0, and 0. So again, if I calculate this, so I have 0, 128, so I don't add it. I have 164, so I add 64. Then um, <coughs> I have 16, because for 32 is 0, so I have 16, so I plus 16. I also plus 8, I plus 4, and that will be it. So that will equal to 64 plus 16, it's 80 plus 8 is 88 and plus 4 is 92 so it's 92 this is the final answer so this code in binary will represent 92 value in decimal now this is also a way to calculate it from decimal to the binary so when we have for example 45 in decimal and bold so we have 45 in decimal to represent 45 we need to assign those zeros and one in the table that I just produced here so 45 goes in uh, 128 goes in 45 no so it's 0 64 goes in 45 no so it's 0 32 goes in 45 yes so it's 1 so we have 31 now now we need to add to to this 32 sorry 32 yeah to create 45 
uh, so 16 no it's too much so it will be 0 um, 8 is ok it will be 40 so it's 1 and 4 is ok because it will be 44 so it's 1 and uh, 2 is too much it will be 46 uh, but that's too much it's 45 not 46 so I add 0 and add 1 to make 45 and that will work to 45 this is the basic uh, of the binary now let me show you how we do um, hex so hex is much different than this because this is base 2 which means we have only two values 0 and 1 so it's two values only and in hex we have base 16 which means we have 16 values to represent so we count from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 and then a a b c d e and f those are the values we can have and how we calculate this so for example the one something like this zero zero one in the hex is actually one but one zero is not equal to ten but sixteen it's ma much more complicated than this code but uh, it's quite easy to grasp so for example if I have number 45 and uh, I will need to add those values I will need to for example if I do one loop I will have 16 if I do another loop I will have 32 so I will do for example two loops two loops so that will give me the front number of the hex it will be 2 and I will just need to add the remainder so uh, 32 minus 45 and that will be uh, wait, 8 plus 5 that's um, 15 I think no it's not 15 it's 13 yeah it's 13 so I will plus at 13 but we don't have 13 instead of 13 we do um, D so it's the final answer is to D and that's how we display hex and that will equal to uh, 45 in decimal so 2D is equal to 45 in decimal for example if we do a um, higher number like 78 let's say so again I need to find how many times I can multiply this 16 so 16 times 2 is 32 and uh, times 4 will be 64 so I can do it times 4 so I will have 4 as a first number and um, so 64 minus 78 so it will be 6 let's say and 8 6 plus 8 so it's <coughs> it's 14 so plus 14 but we don't display 14 and 14 in hex is equal to e so 4 4 e is the answer uh, of decimal 78 that's how we calculate this now if we want for example calculate um, um, binary um, for hex what we're gonna do is we write the binary so we for example have one zero one zero one zero one zero and we want it in hex so what we do first we check the value and uh, and do it in decimal so we convert it to decimal first so that in decimal will equal to um let me calculate this so 128 plus 32 so it's um 160 plus um 8 so it's 168 plus 2 170 so 170 is the value and then we calculate it and then we calculate this to hex so 170 
so how many times I need to multiply 16 to get 70 you can choose you can use this table uh, so for example 4 times 16 is 40 64 so it, it, it's not enough and uh, 8 times uh, 16 it's 128 so 128 but it's still not enough so we can do for example 110 times 16 it will give us 160 so 10 times 16 we will get 160 and the remainder of this will be 10 which means in um, in the hex a so the actual result result for the hex will be a a because 10 is a and the remainder uh, remainder 10 is also a so a a is the 170 that's how we do it and also from hex from hex so for example i have um 5d let's say yeah i will equal to and uh, decimal first so 5d so five times I do five times 16 so five times 16 is um 80 and that will plus d it's equal equal to 13 so that will actually equal to 93 that is the the signal number for hex so if you want to now display in the binary we do 93 so 0 for 128 so it's 0 1 and for 64 if you add 32 it will be 96 so it's too much so 0 1 for 16 so it will be 80 80 plus 8 so 88 plus 4 so that will be 80 92 sorry 92 and we just need to add 1 so 0 and 1 because 0 for this one and 1 for this one so this will equal to 5d in hex and in binary you will have 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 this is how the basic calculations are made and uh, there's nothing more to I don't know well, there's a file in on my web page you can check it there's lots of more like explanation there because it's written so I prefer to do it like this so check it if you want if you're interested in binary and hex values and this might help you in your programming skills sometimes when you uh, do, do when you do values like this or for example <coughs> this is useful when we create programs in PEP because we can use those values or those values in PEP I think that's it for this tutorial and um, visit my page for more tutorials and, and more info about them and uh, soon I will release my second tutorial about IEEE 754 and, and floating points those are longer calculation much more difficult so it's you you will need to know this first and then you can um jump to IE. Okay, I will say goodbye now because that's it for this tutorial and see you next tutorial. Bye.